Most motorcycles have cable actuated clutches, but some bikes have hydraulic clutches. What's the difference and is one setup better than the other? We'll break it down for you in this video from the MC Garage. When we talk about hydraulic and cable clutches, we are just referring to how the clutch is actuated. With a cable clutch, lever force is transferred via a Bowden cable, which has strands of steel running inside of a flexible sheath. With a hydraulic clutch, fluid is used to convey force in the same way that your hydraulic brakes work, except instead of there being a caliper at the other end of a hose, there's a slave cylinder that works on the clutch's pressure plate the same way a cable does. If a cable clutch and a hydraulic clutch do the same thing, why would a manufacturer or a rider choose one over the other? Each system has its pros and cons, but we'll start with the cable clutch because it's the most common. Cables are common for one very simple reason. They are cheap to make and easy to fit. That's a big benefit, whether you're manufacturing motorcycles or just maintaining your own bike. On the topic of maintenance, cables require a fair amount of it. For starters, you have to adjust the cable tension regularly to account for clutch wear and cable stretch. Too loose and you won't get complete clutch engagement when you pull in the lever. Too little slack and you're gonna get clutch slip, which is gonna fry your clutch plates. Also, cables need periodic lubrication and they're susceptible to corrosion and breakage and binding if they're bent too sharply. On the other hand, you don't have to worry about messy lubes or fraying cables with a hydraulic clutch, and you don't have to worry about adjusting anything either. That's because as long as there's fluid in the reservoir, the hydraulic system will self-adjust for clutch wear, so the engagement point remains the same throughout the life of the clutch. Speaking of engagement, hydraulic clutches tend to be easier to modulate and offer a lighter, more consistent lever pull, since there's a master cylinder and a slave cylinder amplifying your grip strength. That is a lot of pluses for hydraulic actuation, but this setup is more expensive, both to build initially and to repair later on if a seal fails. And while you don't have to futz with cable adjustment all the time, for those hydraulic systems that use brake fluid, you're gonna need to replace it every couple of years. That being said, what if your bike has a cable but you are convinced you want hydraulic? Well, you are in luck because Magura has the Hymek conversion kit. I know Hymek sounds like a maneuver you'd perform on someone that's choking on a chicken bone, but it stands for hydraulic from mechanical, which is exactly what this kit does. It allows you to convert your cable clutch to a hydraulic setup. It offers all the benefits of a hydraulic system and it comes fully assembled, pre-bled and ready to install. And because it uses mineral oil instead of hydroscopic brake fluid, you never have to replace the fluid, so it's maintenance free. Magura has Hymet kits for lots of motorcycles and they're adding more all the time. If you wanna see if they have one for your bike, we will put a link in the description. So there you have it, a snapshot of the pros and cons of the two kinds of clutch actuation. If you wanna know more about clutches, like how they work or how a slipper clutch works, or the difference between a wet and a dry clutch, we have videos on all of those topics and you can find them in the MC Garage library. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything we're doing here, make sure you subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, ride safe.